it's Wednesday morning, as you can see, it's just gone 20 past six. I have done the packing up and hubby's left for work. So um, I had a good night's sleep, it does make a difference. So yes, I'm raring to go this morning, so I am a morning person. It makes a big difference because it's been a while since I've actually slept through. Do excuse my hair. I think I need to go to the hairdressers. Um, I did grow my fringe out because it grows so quickly. And um, I did grow it completely out so it's the same length. But I don't like hair. This is why when I'm filming, I'm doing this all the time. I don't like hair in my face. Um, I did just to have my hair um, a few years ago now, right down my back. And it eventually got cut off and I thought I'd be upset but I wasn't because it, I say it is quite thin and it gets tangly easily and then it was just a matter of I always was piling on top of my head that's why I've gone for this cut but I'm trying to hold off a little bit because we're in October and because I don't work hubby keeps saying yeah go and have it cut but where I go it can run quite expensive I must admit so I usually have it as a treat and especially on my birthday in January I used to have my hair done, the full works and also have my nails gelled as well but I do that myself now and that don't that don't bother me you know with all my nail polishes and everything which is another thing I'm actually going through so I'm hoping I'm okay and I'm in focus because sometimes I have it on the stand but then I can't really move it around so much so I did re sort of reset the home as I said I do this every night do excuse there's a lot of dare I say laptops electronics and everything um son's main laptop is here um sorry for making giddy mine is over there and the smaller one that I take away with us is there. Yes, we do have, and Hubby's got one as well. I know they were doing something um, with them last night, so yeah. I will have to say, I have still got all my autumn stuff about. So yeah, I'm just coming round. I've had quite a few comments about my owl here. I think I will just say again, um, this was, I don't even know whether I left the price on, did I? No. This was originally something like um, £25. No, I didn't spend that. It was down to £5 and I got it um, in January. I've had it a couple of years now and I paid £5 for it. Now it is actually a Christmas decoration but I leave it out all year round because I just love it and it hasn't bothered me. Um, yes, I've still got all my autumn decor and that's something I wanted to just um, say in this video. Um, I have a fair few Halloween decorations. I have thinned it down over the years and I used to do Halloween parties at the residential home where I worked, so I've got a lot of stuff. Um, some of it may still come from America. As I said, we went to America three times and the first time I went was in 1993. And back then, um, Halloween wasn't really, um, a thing in Britain. And I come back with a whole suitcase full of Halloween decorations that I got from, because I don't know whether it's still there it was walmart and kmart and that's where we went don't remember target at the time i don't remember it we did stay in now i think if i remember rightly the americans call it semi i hope i've got that right sometimes we said um kissimmee but i think it's kissimmee but i'm sorry um, if I've pronounced that wrong. And that's also when we went to um, Disney World and that. So, yes. So, going off topic. So, I did thin them down. But I think I kept quite a few of my 
American decorations. So I'm hoping to decorate for Halloween. Um, I will have to check back on my videos whether I actually did it last year. I think the previous year I didn't bother. Um, but um, our granddaughter being two, I will have to be careful what I put out because I'm not sure what her reaction will be. Um, I can't go overboard like I did before, like, um, and I did it at work, I've got to tell you this. You've probably seen it. It's the transfer that you put on your fridge or your freezer and it looks like shelves and then it's got meat and horrible bits and supposed to be blood dripping down. Um, I did actually have to get permission at the time whether I could use it um, by the manager um, and it wasn't for clients, it was actually in the main kitchen um, for, um, the, for the chefs and everything and the cooks and everything like that. And um, staff so it wasn't anything to do with the clients because I didn't want to freak them out and they loved it they thought it was hilarious I also had a transfer that you put on the floor where it looks like rats are coming out the grating um, the only thing is um, someone doesn't like spiders and I, I did put a transfer on the toilet the staff toilet I want to say this not clients um, where the spider is sort of coming out the toilet and the transfer goes on the outside. So I did things like that and I didn't tell anybody and it sort of made them jump to start with. <laughs> so that sort of thing, yeah, I'll have to, um, you know, see what I'm actually going to put out. I don't go, tend to go scary Halloween. I like, I don't know, dare I say, cute and fuzzy. <laughs> So we shall see. I'm. I normally decorate for Halloween the week going up to Halloween. Um, so I'm not hundred percent sure when I'm gonna actually do it because I know for a fact a lot of YouTubers have already decorated for Halloween. Um, I'm still on autumn. I'm usually behind. Um, I love my um, autumn decor, so um, I don't know. I shall see. Um, I might ask Hubby to get my boxes down and I can at least look at, show you the boxes. I'm sure I did this last year again. I'm going to have to look back on my own um, channel to see what I've got because I brought quite a few, I think, different bits from Poundland. Um, they brought in some new stock. Now, Going back over the videos that I have actually uploaded with Halloween, there's been a few items I'm thinking, um, you know, I filmed it, I did see it at the time, um, but I wanted to sort of show you what's available out there and now I've gone back or it's in the back of my mind I'm thinking, oh, I wish I'd got that or considered it. So yes, <laughs> even my own videos, I'm thinking, oh, oh, I videoed that, but I didn't actually um, sort of, um, see it if you know what I mean and you know I might have got it sort of in the corner of my view or something when I'm filming it and thinking oh that's nice it depends on what time I mean hubby was with me and he kindly said yes let's do a bit of video in um, for your viewers so that's nice do you know what I mean very often when I went in like in the range at the weekend because we was in the caravan he did actually sit in the car with a drink and watched YouTube on his phone and he, he was a happy bunny do you know what I mean um it, it turned out it wasn't too bad so it wasn't cold or anything so he didn't mind um but I have to take that into account as anybody knows YouTubers um I've still got a family and um they don't want although they've come round my my youngest son who lives with us, he's 24, and my hubby originally said they weren't going to be on camera, but suddenly it all changed, as you know, um, right from last year, and they do, dare I say, frat around. And I did say, I didn't know, when I was um, filming me and hubby in the caravan, the introduction on Saturday, and I... I did actually turn around and, you know, because I got hubby and he, he didn't mind doing it. He was all for it um, to talk with me. There was this business going on. I didn't know until, obviously, I reviewed it and put all my 
um, video together, but I thought, oh, that's them. I mean, I think um, you viewers do like some of the prattling around. So going back to Halloween, yes, I think I'm going to decorate. As I say, I'm looking at the clock. It is 9th today, so um, I should see because I'm busy this week and the weekend. So the weekend is just for our granddaughter. I have said it is a second birthday, so... Um, we have got her, we're babysitting Saturday, well, all day Saturday, so, um, and her birthday's on Sunday. So, I'm not sure that I'm going to get a lot done, as I said, over the weekend, but uh, we shall see. Um, I know for a fact I get more in a mess with her than I did with our sons. I think it's different because, you know, I give 100% of my um, attention, so does Hobby when he's around, and then you will be this weekend. And um, yeah, it, the downstairs just looks like a tornado's hit it when she's here, but when it was my boys, they were really good, you know, you know the story, you, you get one thing out, before you get something out, else out, you pack it up. But with this, it doesn't take long to pack up, and I got quite a good toy station for her, so uh, we shall see. Um, maybe because she's here all day, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh, because Hubby came home the last time I looked after for the day, and, uh, he said, how many kids were here, and I said, one, because <laughs> he, he couldn't, when he was even trying to step through the door, <laughs> he was tripping over things, it was really funny though, I must admit, but it didn't take me long to tidy up, and I, as I said, because I haven't got her 24-7, um, I don't mind it. As I said, um, if it was my boys when they were young, they had to sort of pack up. She does help pack up a little bit. So uh, I did sort of get into that routine, you know, when we sort of towards the end of the day when she's going home, you know, we do sort of tidy up. But I do go back and reorganise it um, because it goes in certain boxes so I know where everything is. And uh, bless her. Um, when we were tidying up, the only thing is at her age, um, she's really good, but she will take her wooden jigsaws to the toy station and she will tip it up and say sorry and sit there making it and this will go on. So it could take us a couple of hours to tidy up, bless her. So that's enough waffling, I think, today because I'm looking at the time. It's been nearly 13 minutes of waffling. Um, but I wanted to do an introduction today. So it is Wednesday. I am at Craft Group. I think I'm organising um, Halloween decorations actually today. And um, because we've got a kids session for half term, so um, I'm just going to... Um, check that I've got everything um, available for those crafts and sometimes even when I experiment and um, the adults like to do the kids crafts as well because sometimes I like to um, tie them out you know and they love doing it so we might be doing a Halloween banner and spiders I think today but as I said the adults will probably be doing this but it's in preparation for half term so like I said um, I'm gonna have to get on now because I'm gonna have to get dressed as I said I've done all the packing up sun will be getting up in a couple of minutes so um, yeah and so I normally say then get on when I've got the house to myself because I don't like disturbing anybody so I'll take you along on my day Right, I've just had my Iceland food delivery, so I'll start over here. Um, got the classic 20 packs of Walker's Crisps, I think they're £3. Milk, £1.09. Not sure how much the eggs were. Um, the cheese, I think, was on offer even lower, but I'm not 100% sure what the price of that is. Um, we've got pork egg roll there. Clover was an offer for a pound. Um, two bags of sugar. Mayo was a pound. Gravy was a pound and so was the um, bolognese sauce. 
Um, we've got some diced beef for the slow cooker. We've got the rolls, which now the stuck coming through with the Halloween packaging on. Um, two loaves of, they were pound by the way, ball buttons. The um, thick tiger loaves was two for £1.80. Got potatoes, onions and the tomatoes. Um, Ritz there, that was a pound. The tucks, I think were two for £1.50 kitchen roll um, sour cream and chive I thought I ordered two of these I will have to double check on that because I've only got one um, because I know there was an offer on two for £3 so I will have to check on that one or whether I've made a mistake roses cake bars we haven't had these before strawberry dream um, for the guys and then we've got Mr. Kipling, six toffee apple slices, and uh, five strawberry lunchbox um, loaves, the Sorin. I did order some Halloween flavoured ones, but they were out of stock. Two boxes of minted lamb burgers, and two boxes of the quarter pounder beef. Onion rings, two bags of fries. Ash brownies, because I haven't ordered those for a little while. And instead of going for the small bag, I've gone for the um, bigger value bag. And um, that was um, £5. Um, we've got um, chicken dippers, two boxes of faggots. And yes, we've got a lot of pizzas because we may be having... We're looking after our granddaughter on Saturday. And we might be having company as well, not sure. So I've got a selection, a large selection of pizzas here. Because then I can um, cook as many as I need. And I've got a variety of different ones. To how many turn up. So we've got um, chicken and sweet corn, ham and mushroom, double cheeseburger, four cheese. Then I've got some spiced chicken one. And then just a, a good fella's thin marguerite at the bottom. Um, got my some fried chicken breast there. They are, two, I think they're about two pound. Um, chocolate eclairs for hubby because he likes those. And a Bramley apple pie that was on offer, I think a pound. Or it was part of a meal deal, I think it was actually. And then two lots of cola and cans, which was 20 pack. Um, 20 cans, and I think that was on offer for six pounds so i'm afraid i didn't give all the prices it's just that um i've got a lot to do and i want to get my shopping put away but i thought i'd just quickly show you what i've got and um so i can put it away right using this um die cut of the um mug the cream and you can use the snowflake, which can go in the center, or you can leave use the coffee beans, or like, um, if you want, you can use it as though um, there's like steam coming off of the cup. So I've had a go at this die cut. It's the first time I've actually used it. I've got quite a few new ones, and this is what I have come up with. So I've made this um, Christmas card, as I said, using the die cut. Um, I used the snowflake one though on this and like the cream. And, um, and I've put some of this green um, backing paper on because it is one of those that's got the cut out, but it was the only card I had at the time. And, um, the red of the cup didn't show up so then I've just added this um, embellishment that says snowflakes are winter's kisses so that is the card I've made um, 
usually by now I've made a number of Christmas cards through the year but I haven't actually so far this year so I'm really pleased how this one turned out and I probably will repeat this and make a set of these or something very similar so I'm really pleased with that so that is what I wanted to share and as I said I'm really pleased with this one um, and um, I've also got one which is like the jam jar which is the next one that I would like um, to try out.